Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I want to talk about this Wi-Fi adapter. So basically this is an OBD2 adapter that plugs into the OBD slot plug that each vehicle has after 1996 I think. Something like that but yeah so I think nowadays everyone should have one of these. The reason why is because you know as the cars get newer they have a lot more electronic things and sometimes it's a very simple fix you know as just resetting your check engine it will go away some cars don't reset their own cells and will need a reset and this thing will reset your check engine so or it can tell you the problem and give you the code and then you just look up the code online and you got yourself you know an idea of what's going on with your vehicle so anyways let's talk about this I've had this one for a few years now and there's many many on the market so they all work just about the same so there's no you know this is just off brand you can tell that there's no branding on here whatsoever you if you get one of these all you need after this is just some way to connect it and the phone is the best way to do that so if you just have a smartphone of any kind you know you would connect now I have an Android phone so what I use is an app called Torque and let me show you guys what that looks like there there's an app called Torque so if I click on it there's this is what comes up alright so first things first is you gotta figure out where to plug this in so uh, if you can't find it look it up on Google where it could possibly be in your vehicle but you know most of them are under the dash here so this truck has it right here so all I gotta do is plug it in and you can see that it does have power there right now so in the in the settings you're gonna click OBD2 adapter settings right here and then here you're gonna uh, choose what kind of it is so mine's on Wi-Fi obviously if you buy a Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi seemed to work pretty good I mean Bluetooth is decent too I think but I've had very good success with Wi-Fi so it should connect pretty easily after that so. anyway so we're going to try to connect here I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi and there it is the OBD2 click on it right now it's trying to connect to the uh, to the house okay here we go so OBD2 so it's connected to the Wi-Fi so now I'm going to go back in here It says no internet available obviously so but we don't need internet alright guys just a note that on some vehicles you'll have to crank them like this one and before you can even access so so there you go it's connecting these things are flashing like crazy and now we are in so you can go to fault codes right away and say if you have a check engine that's where you would go and it says tap here to scan the faults scanning so basically it's logged to zero faults so I don't have any faults here um, so yeah that's it pretty simple stuff but there's a lot of cool stuff when you click on this real-time information so you got acceleration, the revs, so it's this is the RPM. See if I give it some gas you can see that it will change. There it is. Coolant temperature right there and vacuum I guess. So anyways. So yeah you can see it has a it goes through all the sensors too to make sure everything is good. Anyway, so you can do a lot of things in this app, you know, if you go through the settings. But yeah, you know, you, I guess the most important thing would be to check your uh, check engine, and this thing can easily do that. So you can download this app at the uh, Android. Um, so the free basic app, I think it's called Light Torque Light. It it can check the fault and reset it. So if you want to go more crazy and get more stuff, you can get the Pro or whatever the regular version. That, I think you have to pay for it a little bit, but it might be worth it if that's what you want. So, but yeah, this is the Torque app, and yeah, so 
the way you quit is you just push quit here and it disconnects. So it's not blinking anymore. Pull this right out. And you're good to roll. So anyways guys, this is the OBD2 uh, Wi-Fi interface tool. So it's pretty cool. So I'll leave a link in the description where to get this. And uh, yeah, get yourself an interface OBD2 reader. And you know, keep tabs on your car. And whenever it needs things, you'll know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Like if you like this video. And please subscribe for more stuff like this. All right. We'll see you later. Thanks.